Hey, what's good everybody? This is Brandon with Taylor's Fire and Smoke Cooking. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a really short video. We're going to be making some roasted cabbage steaks. It's a slight variation from the normal cabbage that you're probably used to, but it's just as delicious and actually a little bit more healthy. So let's get into these ingredients. Ground black pepper, crushed wet red pepper, some kosher salt, some badia, some extra virgin olive oil, and an onion. And of course, we've got the cabbage. Now, I may add bacon to the top, and I may not. That's up for debate. But uh, that's, like I said, simple ingredients. So let's go ahead and get prepped up and uh, get started. All right, we're back. I've just got a Vidalia onion. onion. First things first, all we're gonna do is just cut uh, little circles out of it, little medallions. Make sure you have a sharp knife. And we don't need very many. So I'm gonna probably just make four just for to be on the safe side. And those are just under a quarter inch thick, but that's gonna be what we need. Then we're just gonna cut this cabbage into steaks. So these leaves are not going to work for what we're trying to do, but I am going to save these. I have another cabbage that I'm going to do something else with. So I'm just gonna save them and put them with that cabbage. These are uh, delicious and still edible, and I don't wanna get rid of those. So I'm just gonna put these to the side and we're going to do something else with those. And you just basically, you just do the same thing that you did with your lettuce. Make sure you have a sharp knife and you just cut them into steaks, probably three quarters of an inch to an inch. This depends on how you want it. But we're gonna take them, try to cut them as evenly as possible. Now these things, Depending on how big your cabbage is, depends on how big the steak is going to be. So you a cookie sheet or any type of pan that you have. And we're going to line it with parchment paper. And we're going to take our steaks and it's going to add it to this parchment. Any scragglers like this, like I said, just hold on to those. You can cook those separately. Another cabbage. So. Alrighty. To the side. Now, all we're going to do, this is simple, simple, simple process. A little bit of olive oil. You're going to take your olive oil, put a little bit on each steak, and just rub it in. Super simple. We're gonna take some kosher salt and liberally salt each steak. This one here is kind of skeet, but it'll be all right. Same with the black pepper. And then with our crushed red pepper. Now this is, depends on how much you wanna add to your uh, cabbage. You may want it a little more, you won't, may want a little less. That's your discretion when it comes to the pepper flakes, but I like a little kick when I hit my cabbage. Okay. Now we're gonna take some of this complete seasoning. Now if you don't have complete, you can use uh, some garlic, pep uh, garlic powder and uh, onion powder, a little thyme or some Italian seasoning. This also has a little bit of a uh, lemon zest in it too, so. You can use a little bit of uh, lemon pepper along with some, some garlic and granulated onion. So that's basically the seasoning. Then we're gonna flip it and we're gonna repeat the process. So let me do the other side and then I'll pick back up. Right, that's it. Now, if you see a little red on there, that is smoked paprika. I did forget to bring that out of my spice cabinet prior 
but on just this top side we did put some uh, smoked paprika on there that's to help with color as well as giving it a little bit of a smoky flavor now what we're going to do we're just going to take some of these onions that we uh, sliced earlier and just put a little bit of a onion slice on top a couple of them and we're just going to do that on all the uh, all the cabbage steaks when I fry cabbage in a pan normally I fry them with bacon and onion but like I said this is a little bit healthier option and it's still delicious so we're just going to go ahead and omit the bacon I was thinking about it but I went on and decided against it this time and that's it guys We've got our oven preheated up to 400 degrees. So all we have to do now is just put these steaks in a 400 degree oven, let them go for about 20 minutes or so, then we'll be ready to eat. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys back with the finished look. All right guys, here are these cabbage steaks fresh out the oven. Then 25 minutes later, you know this one was kind of thin so that's why it looks all tore up like that. But that's perfect right here. That's a perfect one and these are looking good as well. So let me go ahead and get these plated up then uh, you'll get a taste. But that's it guys. Quick, simple, and delicious. Where's my plate? Got some smoked wings to go with it. So again, this is a real healthy, light alternative to frying cabbage or using your bacon and grease and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and get a bite real quick. Alright y'all, one last look, those, those wings smoked up, but we're here for the cabbage, get a bite. It's a super simple dish, doesn't take much to get it done, you can see those seasonings in there. Very good. You know, cabbage is already kind of sweet anyway. So with the salt, pepper, those red chili flakes. This is bomb. Try this recipe, guys. You'll love it. It's a little bit different from what your normal cabbage is. So highly recommend it. It's easy to do. And I bet you'll love it too. If you like the comment, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment, share the video. I appreciate you guys watching. Until the next time, God bless you.